folks. It's Tony from the tech firm. I always talk about Windows batch files. A few people asked me to help them get started with bash scripts in Linux. So I figured this is a good place to start. We'll just start right from the basics so people don't get confused. Um, first thing I want to do is mention MOBA Xterm. That's what I'm going to use uh, for my SSH session. I like it as a built-in drag and drop SFTP browser. For the people who want to do it for the command line, you can knock yourself out with the SCP command or however you want to get the file there. And then I'll, I'll work my way into the other utility I like to use, which is called Notepad++. And that is right here. And when I go download it, I always get the portable version, so I have to install it. Sometimes I can't, depending on the machine's configuration that I'm working on. And that's pretty well all we need to know. So here we are. We're logged into our router. I made a folder, config, scripts, reports. And you can see here on the uh, left-hand side, it shows me the path and there's nothing in there. I'll hit refresh, nothing's in there. And I created two files, all right? And they're the exact same contents, notepad test sh and notepad plus plus underscore test dot sh. So I want to show you the Windows notepad test sh first. If I just dot slash notepad test dot sh, enter. It'll say permission denied. So right within Mobi, MOBA X term, I can just right click, go to permissions and turn on the executable right there. Some people freak out and they do all this stuff. You don't really need to. That's good enough. But you know what? Why not? So now we've changed the permissions on that. So if I redo that command, it'll actually say no file or directory. It's having a hard time interpreting the um, the way it ends the line. So window uses a carriage return and a line feed. And Linux only uses a line feed, so it kind of confuses it. The interpreter reads the reads it as a slash r. Sometimes you get a slash r error everywhere. So I recreated the same file, the exact same file, in this one, Notepad plus plus underscore test, and we'll do the same thing. All right. So one nice thing I like about it is I can just click on it and copy the name. That way I don't have to type it out and paste the name. There's a lot of ways to do this with keystrokes too, but I figured why not. Same thing, permission denied. I haven't changed permission to this guy, so I'm going to do the same thing here, permissions. Executable, apply. And then I'll pull back the last command with the up arrow key, enter. And it worked. See that? So there's a lot of people um, asking about why my Windows Notepad created file doesn't work in Linux. And that's why, because you don't use Notepad. It's that end of line issue. So if I was to show you in Notepad++, you go to Edit, you go to uh, End of Line Conversion, and make sure it's set for Linux, and that fixes it. Uh, Windows Notepad does not have such a feature, so you have to use a different editor, or you just create it in Linux using like Nano or VI or whatever you want to use. That's it, quick fix. And you know what, I might as well just quickly show you that file, just real quick, what is it? I'm just going to open this with Notepad. I'm not going to save it in Notepad. I just want to show you the file in Notepad. Uh, come on, let's go. Now Windows is thinking for some dumb reason. There we go. So what did I do? I just uh, defined a name for a file to output to. And I'm just going to send some output to that file. So in this case, um, I've got ls-l, real simple stuff. You can put whatever command you want. So now, if I hit refresh, I'll see an additional, there's the output file, click, click, it will open it with its built-in editor, and there's the output of that file. There you go. That's it, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.